Hello and welcome to the Fenwick and Trinity Fenwick and Trinity High School's virtual college fair. Thank you for joining us today. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button to on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. If your question is for a specific school, name the school in your question so they know it's for them. Your cameras and microphones are off so the panelists can't see or hear you. And this presentation is being recorded. It'll be available within about a week at the website strivescan.com slash friarblazers. I've gotten the housekeeping stuff out of the way. I will now step out of the way and turn it over to our first presenter, a representative from Creighton University. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. I am Beth Piskel. Um, I'm a Chicago-based admissions officer for Creighton University. Uh, if you apply to Creighton, I will be the person who will read your application. Um, I can be a great resource for you as you go through the college admission process and certainly encourage you to reach out to me um, anytime for help. Sorry. One second here. Here we go. Um, Creighton is a Catholic Jesuit university. One of the most things, unique things about Creighton is that we are moderately in, um, moderate in size, but incredibly complex academically. We offer 140 academic programs and all feature a liberal arts foundation. With an I'm sorry to interrupt. This is Russ. Are you uh, sharing your screen right now? I thought I was. You're not. I, okay. <laughs> We're not seeing it. Thank you so much. I'm, I okay. apologize. That's all right. I'll let you know when it comes up. Okay. There it is. There. All right. Um, Creighton is um, a Catholic Jesuit university. Um, one of the most unique things about the university is that we are moderately moderate in size, but incredibly complex academically. We offer 140 academic programs and all feature the Liberal Arts Foundation with an enrollment of 4,500 undergraduate students and 4,500 graduate and professional students. Um, Creighton is the most complex university of its size in the country. Um, our student faculty to ratio is 11 to one. All place Creighton classes are taught by, taught by faculty. Um, a midpoint class has about 23 to 24 students with 80% of our students coming from outside the state of Nebraska. We are a truly residential university. Um, our students come to us from each of the 50 states and 50 other countries. Our undergraduate colleges include the College of Arts and Sciences, the Hyder College of Business, and the College of Nursing. Um, these are the colleges that high school seniors can apply to. We also have a graduate school and our professional schools include medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, physical therapy, occupational therapy, physician assistant, and law. Um, our graduate and professional schools have a policy of granting a preference for admission to Creighton undergraduate students. Many of our professional programs offer early assurance opportunities. Creighton is building a second health science campus located in Phoenix, Arizona, that will include a second Creighton Medical School that will open this fall. This addition will make Creighton the largest Catholic healthcare educator in the country. Creighton's College of Nursing offers the opportunity for direct admission from high school. Nursing students benefit from extensive clinical experiences that happen locally during the school year and can be across the country during the summer through internships. Our College of Nursing does have a plan of study that allows all nursing students to study abroad if they would like. Our Hyder College of Business um, is direct entry from high school and offers incredible opportunities for experiential learning. Our campus is ideally situated with multiple Fortune 500 companies located within walking distance. We are the only business college in the country that offers both a four-year leadership development and a four-year career development program for all business students. These programs provide intentional planning that helps to push our students 
to consider their goals and, and, and interests and strengths, um, consider the best internships, possibly double majors, and um, just opportunities that are really gonna increase their opportunities. Um, we have several unique practicum experiences on campus. Our invest investment portfolio practicum gives students the opportunity to invest $6.5 million of the university endowment, offering a pretty world, real world experience for the students. Um, the IJ is the only student run Apple store in the world, and it is located in our, our Hyder College of Business. Students who take the IJ practicum have the opportunity to run the Apple store. Omaha is a beautiful city with a population around a million. Um, Omaha was voted number one for paid internships, um, actually offering more paid internships per capita than any other city in the country. Um, Omaha is home to four Fortune 500 companies with many others having a presence very near campus. Um, we were also voted the number one city for college graduates because it's a fun place to live, many job opportunities and a relatively low cost of living. We have over 250 clubs and organizations, including sorority and fraternity life, uh, club and intramural sports, and many leadership opportunities. Because the vast majority of students are from out of state and remain on campus on the weekends, it lends itself to students taking advantage of the opportunities both on campus and in the city. True to the ideals of Jesuit education, Creighton students are passionate about social justice and giving back to the community. We have local service opportunities almost every day of the week. Um, it's a huge tradition at Creighton that students spend their spring or fall breaks doing service trips that take place all across the country. In a typical year, our 8,500 students give more than a million hours to the community. Many Creighton students are committed to spiritual growth. Um, they enjoy our beautiful St. John's Parish that is located in the center of campus. Campus ministry is vibrant and many students take advantage of our uh, retreat opportunities. There is incredible school spirit at Creighton. We are division one and part of the Big East Conference. Attendance at our home basketball games averages at 18,000. We are the host to the College World Series, which is a super fun summer activity. All students are given tickets to our home sporting events. We offer many study abroad opportunities, including our Global Scholars Program. Students in this program have four study abroad experiences during their four-year undergraduate program of study. We are very proud of our outcomes. Students can submit an application starting um, August 1st of their the year um, they are becoming seniors. Um, all colleges at Creighton offer the opportunity to apply test optional. Um, please remember this about college admissions officers. It's our job to make sure you have access to all the information you need to make a great decision about college. Feel free to reach out to me anytime if I can be of help. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I will remind everyone that you can ask questions of our representatives using the Q&A button. You can do it at any time. Up next, we'll hear from the representative from Bradley University. Oh, you're still muted. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Talia Navoa. I'm your admission counselor here at Bradley University. I'm so excited to be able to speak to you guys today. Um, so here is make sure okay awesome so bradley university is located in peoria illinois peoria illinois is a small city located between chicago st louis indianapolis and the quad cities so if you're looking for a city field um, but has a hometown hometown feel as well. Peoria is just the perfect location because you get everything you need from a city, um, but everybody knows your name. And if you like nature too, we have a lot of great hiking places as well. We like to say that 
Bradley University is mid-sized and that makes a big difference. We have around 6,000 students. And because of that, we are very unique in the way we can teach our students. We're more personalized than the large universities. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that in a, next, a later slide, but we also have more opportunities in smaller colleges. So you will know your professors, but you'll also be able to do research starting your freshman year and get intern internship opportunities starting your freshman year as well. With more than 185 academic programs, it's so easy to fulfill all your passions that you want to in Bradley University. We have a 12 to 1 student faculty ratio, and your average class size is about 17 students. Um, so some of your classes might be a little bit larger than that, especially your first year when you're taking some of your core classes. But after your freshman year, you're going to have really good one-on-one -on -one relationships with your classmates because there are only going to be about 17 students in there. We have five colleges at Bradley University. We have the Foster College of Business, the Slane College of Communication and Fine Arts, the College of Education and Health Sciences, uh, Caterpillar College of Engineering and Technology, and the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Every single college is unique in its own way. And what I love about Bradley and its size is that you can always major and minor from any one of these colleges. You don't just have to choose one. So if you're interested in business, but you love music, you can do that as well. Um, if you're interested in history, but you also want to do engineering, you can mix that as well, which is a great opportunity for students that have many interests and passions. We also have our academic exploration program. So for many of our students, at least one in six of our students choose the academic exploration program. So for some of you who are undecided or have many passions, you just don't wanna choose, the academic exploration program is such a great opportunity for our students. We also have the footsteps program within the uh, College of the Academic Exploration Program. And what the Footsteps Program is, is that you actually get to shadow uh, people in the real world. So if you're in between being a doctor or a lawyer, you can shadow a doctor, you can shadow a lawyer and see which one is best fit for you. And you can do that starting your freshman year, which is an amazing opportunity. Bradley University is also a very walkable campus. Now that it's getting really nice outside, you'll see our students in the hammocks and the picnic tables just having a great time being together. It only takes about 15 minutes to get from one side to the other side of campus. So if your class is at 820 and you wake up at eight, you just have to throw on a t-shirt on and maybe some yoga pants and you'll still make it to class. About 90% of our freshmen live on campus. You do have to live on campus for two years, but that just gives a solid foundation um, to having a group of people and friends instantly by living in the dorms. We have over 240 student organizations at Bradley University. And one of the biggest advice I always give my students is when you come on campus, um, find two or three organizations that you wanna join. Make yourself go and meet new people. Um, it's okay to be uncomfortable. Everybody is in the same spot as you. Everybody's starting over. But with 240 organizations, you have a lot to choose from. Uh, some of our most popular organizations on campus is one is Wags for Mags, and this is where you get to train service animals. So if you love dogs, um, there's tons of dogs on campus. They're working, so you don't get to pet them, but it's really nice to see all the dogs on campus. We also have many cultural organizations, religious organizations. Um, we're also division one. So if you want a school that has a lot of pride, uh, Bradley is definitely there. The bus will take you to the Civic Center to watch the basketball games and they're only a dollar. So if you're looking for a place where you can get a great education and have fun, I would definitely look into Bradley. Money is also a big question when it comes to college. Um, at Bradley University and in most universities, we have what's called a cost calculator. So if you go to bradley.edu slash estimator, you'll be able to input all of your information, which includes your GPA, um, it includes all your financial resources as well, and it can give you kind of a, a cost estimate of what Bradley would be for you. As your admission counselor at Bradley University, I'm also your financial aid counselor as well. So if you and your family have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to contact me. I'll give you the information at the end of this presentation. 
If you're looking to apply to Bradley, you can do so through the Bradley University app, which opens July 1st, or the Common Application, which opens on August 1st. I really recommend doing the Common Application. You can apply um, to various schools, and it's very easy. For us, you will need a transcript, and then we'll need a personal essay. Um, we are test optional, so that will be up to you. You can also come visit us on campus. Um, we have virtual visits, but we also have CDC compliance on campus visits as well. Thanks guys so much for listening to me and learning a little about, about Bradley. Um, this is my information I'll just put in the chat. And if you have questions, feel free to ask me anytime. Thank you very much. You can ask questions during the session using the Q&A button and you can be a question to any of our representatives. If it's for a specific school, just make sure to name the school in your question. Up next, let's hear from Mizzou, also known as the University of Missouri. Hi everybody, thanks so much for having me today. I'm Stephanie Duff with the University of Missouri or Mizzou. I'm a lo locally located uh, in Chicago. I'm one of the three Chicago regional representatives for the University of Missouri. In fact, I have my colleague Maria here to answer any of your questions in the chat, so don't hesitate to put those in there. Mizzou is located in Columbia, Missouri, which is smack dab in the middle of the middle. So we're about a six hour drive from the Chicagoland area in between St. Louis and Kansas City in the state of Missouri or about a 30 minute flight out of O'Hare directly into Columbia. So quick and easy to get there. Columbia has been ranked one of the top 25 cities to live in, but consistently we are always ranked one of America's best college towns. Something I absolutely loved about attending Mizzou as a student is that campus is connected to downtown Columbia. Even if you're at the far side of campus by the football field and you walk across the entire campus into downtown Columbia, that's only about a 10 to 15 minute walk. So you have easy access to all of the 200 plus shops and restaurants, boutiques that are in downtown Columbia, all the amazing festivals that take place throughout the year. In fact, we're home to one of the country's largest documentary film festivals called True False Film Fest. Lots of great food festivals. I'm a huge foodie. Some of my favorite restaurants to this day are still in Columbia. My favorite sushi restaurant, Thai restaurant, um, amazing pizza, of course. There are 89 different parks. So if you're into hiking trails, biking trails, running trails, there's a lot of great options in Columbia. And then 20 different live music venues. Columbia definitely has lots of live music and big name artists that come through town all the time that want to stop in Columbia and play for our students. Something I love about campus that you'll see from this photo, it's actually a registered botanic garden. It is unbelievably stunning, not to mention the weather is significantly better there than here. Uh, but there's about 30,000 total students on our campus with tigers from every single county in Missouri, but all 50 states and more than 120 countries. We are a very unique institution. In fact, we're one of only six public universities in the entire country to have a medical school, a vet school and a law school all on one campus. As if that wasn't unique enough, we are also the land grant university for the state as well as the tier one research university for the state. So we are a member of the prestigious AAU. Being the land grant and the tier one research AAU institution for the state is very unique. There's only 14 universities like that. It's like being the University of Michigan and Michigan State, University of Iowa, Iowa State. We are both of those universities for the state of Missouri. One way that really benefits you is you're getting a tier one research education at a land grant price. How to apply? We accept the common application or our own institutional application, which opens August 1st. You can apply with a test score or test optional. We're coming out with more information soon about the current junior class and what your test optional application will require. But you'll need to submit an official high school transcript, pay the $55 application fee, or we accept fee waivers, then send us a test score. And this year, in, for test optional, we accepted uh, resumes and personal statements in order to get you a decision. We are rolling admissions, so it takes about two to three weeks to get you a decision once you apply. We have over 300 degree programs in 13 different schools and colleges. We also have a Discover program for students that wanna come in undeclared and kind of go from there. I actually triple majored on Mizzou's campus. I know Maria, who's also on this, uh, she had a major and a minor and a certificate and did all the things academically on our campus. So definitely able to customize your education. 
over 600 clubs and organizations. We have a legendary rec center that's been ranked best in the country by Sports Illustrated. And there's 50 different club and rec sports associated with that. Uh, tons of community service organizations and then 20 different SEC Division I athletic teams. We are known for our hands-on learning. We call it the Missouri Method. This was originally coined by our world-renowned School of Journalism. And for an example, the broadcast students run a network affiliate news station. So we're the only university in the country to actually own a network affiliate news station. And our students get two years of experience at the NBC station broadcast to all of the Missouri. But this has since been expanded to every single degree program on our campus, making sure you get that hands-on applied learning, which is why we have a 93.4% successful career outcomes rate which is essentially saying within six months of graduation, 93% of our students have a job, are in grad school or in the military. Three different ways to get scholarships from the University of Missouri. We have uh, competitive scholarships that have a December 1st deadline, departmental scholarships, which have a December 1st deadline, and then automatic awards, which you're automatically considered for whenever you apply. We do accept test scores and super scores for those all the way through summer after senior year. We also have a very well-known and established residency program to get you in-state tuition for your sophomore through senior year. We are open for in-person campus visits. You're welcome to come to Columbia and see it for yourself. But we have lots of different virtual options as well. Virtual campus tours, meeting with departments, meeting with admissions reps. So whether you wanna visit in-person or virtually, it's up to you. We are always here to help. This is our contact information. Again, I'm Stephanie. I'm the North Chicago rep, but happy to help anyone. Maria is also on this call. So technically I'm the representative uh, for Fenwick and she's the representative for Trinity, but you're welcome to reach out to either of us. Thank you guys so much and go Tigers. Thank you very much. And again, I sound like a broken record, which is a dated reference, but that's okay. Q&A button, any time to ask questions of any of our representatives if it's for a specific school, name the school in your question. Up next, let's hear from the representative from Florida Southern College. Hello everyone, my name is Lily Weaver and I'm an admissions counselor at Florida Southern. I'm excited to get to share a little bit um, about FSC with you today. So, To get started with some basic information, Florida Southern is located right in between Tampa and Orlando in Lakeland. We were founded in 1883, which does make us one of Florida's oldest private colleges. We're home to about 3,000 students total. About 60% come from in the state of Florida and the other 40% come from almost all 50 states and about 50 different countries across the world. At Florida Southern, we have over 70 different programs of study with 16 pre-professional tracks across these five different schools. Our most popular majors are business, nursing, education, biology, and theater. We are a liberal arts college at our core, so no matter what you're going to study, you will get a very well-rounded education. We really emphasize engaged and experiential learning here, which means that we believe in the power of doing by immersing yourself in the field as soon as possible and as much as possible. With this, um, we really offer a lot of opportunities for students to jump in and get started. Um, so the average class size is 18, the 14 to one student to faculty ratio. So your professors really know you and all classes are taught by professors. So you really are learning from experts in the field. Something that I also want to highlight um, that really is just a continuation of our engaged learning is our three guarantees. So the first guarantee is that you will get to study abroad, travel the world. We have several different options, but the most popular one is through our junior journey program. This is typically a seven to 10 day trip that you take over one of the major breaks, uh, like a fall break or a spring break. What's really awesome about this is that you get course credit for it and it's a little to no additional cost for students. So that's how we can guarantee it. Um, and we go to countries all across the world. Some trips are major specific and some are um, more cultural trips, but you have your pick of a lot of different options. Our second guarantee is that you will complete an internship. So we know that 95% of employers are looking for students to have experience before going into their field. So we can guarantee uh, that if you want an internship, we will help you 
find one. The same kind of goes for the research experience as well, as some majors do require that instead. Our third guarantee is that you will graduate on time in four years or less. So our, our uh, professors also double as academic advisors, which is awesome because then you are really being advised by people who know best about the field and how to help you towards graduation. Another thing is that we are very transfer credit friendly. So if you are taking any of those um, advanced credit courses, you will likely transfer uh, in with some of those to already start your college career off um, with a few credits under your belt. So what does all of this mean? Um, well, it really culminates into our graduates being successful. So 97% um, of our students report uh, that they are meeting their post-graduation goals within about a year after graduation. About a third of those go into grad school and then two thirds go straight into the work. So outside of academics, uh, we really do consider ourselves to have a strong campus community. Uh, so we have 16 different options for students to live on campus. You will be living on campus for all four years. So you're really building those strong community connections uh, with your fellow students. So we do have your traditional dorm options, but we also have apartment complexes that are surrounding our campus that you have the opportunity to live in once you are an upperclassman. There are so many ways to get involved on campus. We are NCAA Division II for athletics. We've won 30 national championships. We're very proud of our mocks. Um, but we also have really great intramural and club sport uh, programs as well. So there's something for everyone to get involved in. We have over 100 clubs and organizations. So we have departmental clubs, honor societies, cultural clubs. We have a cat club that takes care of our stray cats around campus. So you'll be able to find something um, and a place where you really um, can find a home here at Florida Southern. Now that I've talked a little bit about Florida Southern, I want to talk about our application process. So the first thing I want to mention is that it's completely fret free to apply to FSC. So there's three different options. You can apply on our website, on Common App or Coalition App. We don't have a preference, whichever works best for you. The two main things that we need for your application is your application, of course, but then also your high school transcript and personal essay. We are test optional. If you want to submit test scores, you're welcome to do so, but it's not required for admission to FSC. And the last thing I want to talk about is financial aid. So when you apply, you are automatically considered for academic based scholarships, uh, whether you apply test considered or test optional, all students are considered for those. We are very scholarship stacking friendly. So if you bring any uh, outside aid like federal aid or just aid from outside institutions, um, any college savings plans, anything like that, we'll just stack that on top of the aid that you are already receiving. You also might receive aid from various places around campus. Different departments have their own um, auditions or athletic aid. And then the very final thing I want to leave you guys with is that we are open for campus tours. So if you would like to come visit us, we would love to have you in sunny Lakeland, Florida. Thank you very much. And again, Q&A is where you can ask questions of any of our representatives. Up next, we'll hear from the representative from Syracuse University. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is April Lynch. I'm an Associate Director of Admission with Syracuse University. I did put my contact information in the chat box, so you can pretty easily get to that. So Syracuse is located in upstate New York. It is a very easy uh, plane ride or train ride from the Chicago area. So you would um, take the Amtrak out of Union Station, goes right to Syracuse, or you can um, fly out of O'Hare and goes directly to Syracuse as well. So nice and easy for you guys. We are um, located in upstate New York, like I said. We have kind of a bullseye feel to our campus. So the main quad is in the center, academic ranks of buildings surrounding that kind of facing in. And then our residence halls a little bit further out from that. We have about 15,000 undergrad students, a few thousand grad students on campus. We're firmly in that mid-size range for institutions. 
we love our size. We feel it's one of the benefits of going to a college like ourselves. We have a 15 to one student to faculty ratio, an average class size of about 26 students. With that said, 60% of our classes have 20 or fewer students in them. We wanna make sure that you have the ability to work one-on-one, -on -one, um, get help, talk to, connect with the professors that will help shape your life with you. We have about a quarter million alumni around the world. They are very, very involved in helping our students connect with internships and jobs, amongst other things. We have um, several different academic colleges that you can see listed here. There are over 200 majors and 100 minors available. Any of those academic colleges that you see listed before you that have an orange asterisk, you can actually apply undecided to that area. So if you know you would like to go into the business world when you graduate, but you're not sure what your major might be, you can apply to the Whitman School of Management as an undecided business major. And then as you take some courses, work with your advisor, you'll be able to pick up where you'd like to be. If you're truly undecided, typically the College of Arts and Sciences is the best spot for you to start. We have a liberal arts core to most of our majors. So you'll be taking a lot of those gen eds through that area. Um, we are a research one institution and we want to, we'll touch on that in a second, but I also want to mention that we have a fantastic integrated academic and career advising office. Their job is to help you connect with internships and jobs. We have one of these offices in each academic area. So the College of Business has its own area, the College of Arts and Sciences, and they only work with students who are within these majors. It helps them connect you with a wide variety of options as far as internships and um, you know jobs go. Now I mentioned research just a moment ago. We are research one again, the top tier of research institutions. Um, some examples of the students here you see in the picture. Uh, the two women uh, pictured here uh, saw in India that there was um, a, a great need to help reduce waterborne illnesses. So they created a sari that has a built-in water filtration system, and it is at a low cost so that families and people there are able to access filtered water. Um, if you are interested in being part of research when you are in college, we would love to have you join us. You can join as early as freshman year, although we see a lot of students waiting until sophomore year as they want that freshman year to kind of you know, get under their belt, get used to being in college uh, before they throw themselves into a research project. But please let us know. We'd be happy to have you join us in our research projects. Now, we also have a fantastic study abroad program. We are ranked nationally with this. Um, we have three different abroad centers that are for discovery. Discovery is a first semester freshman year program. So that is Florence, Madrid, and Strasbourg. You can actually go and study there within um, select majors. Then we also have a couple other abroad centers, London and Santiago, that you can study at as well. So those five centers I just mentioned, we have our own buildings there, we have our own faculty teaching, so it's very, very easy, even if you don't know the language of the country, to go and study in one of these locations because we will be teaching the English. Now, if you wanna go someplace else, we have more than 100 programs in over 60 other countries. You can go have that full immersion, that in-depth experience that you're excited about as well. Um, the picture here is actually a professor took a class to Berlin and they were teaching there. Now, we are Division I for athletics. It is amazing um, to go and experience a Division I athletic event. You will join, I don't know how many thousands of the most excited fans that you can possibly imagine as we roll into our athletic events. Um, there's over 300 clubs, athletics, and organizations as well. If you can't tell, involvement is big to us. We want you to join. We want you to try out new experiences and see what's out there. You don't know what you enjoy unless you've tried something. And if you try something and you don't enjoy it, well, there's another 299 <laughs> events for you. We have done several updates in the last couple of years. So the Barn Center at the Arch is one of them. It's a one-stop wellness shop for students. Um, the Shine Student Center also was recently renovated and opened in February of this year. Living learning communities are very big with our students who want to go and engage and live with other people on campus. Um, then we also, to join the Orange family, 
we ask you to fill out the application. We have early decision and regular decision as our two options. We are test optional for the class of 2022, and every student is automatically considered for merit-based scholarships. You don't have to do anything extra. If you have further questions, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Questions can be asked in using the Q&A. Also check out the chat to see information that the representatives are sending to you about uh, their schools and their contact info. Up next, we will hear from the representative from St. Louis University. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jennifer Tanner. I am one of the regional admission counselors with St. Louis University. Uh, unfortunately, I do not work with Benwick or Trinity students. That is my fantastic colleague, Stephanie Zapansky. She's currently on her honeymoon, so I'll put her contact information in the chat. You can wish her congratulations if you happen to email her after this, but let's just go ahead and dive right in. So SLU is a Catholic Jesuit university. Uh, we're medium sized, with just about 8,000 undergraduate students. We are ranked as a top 50 Catholic school and we have two campuses, one in St. Louis and one in Madrid, Spain. We're the second oldest Jesuit university founded in 1818 and we are the first university west of the Mississippi. While we are an urban campus by definition, we very much have a traditional campus feel. To talk briefly about Jesuit education, the Jesuits are the largest order of Catholic priests and being a Jesuit institution really centers on our philosophy on education. So we be believe in educating the whole person academically, socially, physically, spiritually. Um, we also believe in um, being a person for others. And one of the ways that we live that out is through our commitment to service. So recently you can see that our faculty, staff, and students contributed over 1.98 million hours of service because they want to make a difference. And it very much is a part of our campus culture. When you are looking of, of what you might be interested in studying, we do offer nearly 90 undergraduate majors. All of our majors are technically direct entry. Uh, there is a lot of flexibility to change within that. Um, there are three majors that are direct entry only. We have a six-year doctorate in physical therapy, a five-year master's in occupational therapy, and a direct entry bachelor's of science in nursing. So if you're interested in any of those programs, I, I make sure that you apply by December 1st of your senior year. Outside of that, in no particular order, some other popular majors are biology, accounting, uh, marketing, aerospace engineering, mechanical engineering, communication, flight science, and psychology. With our majors, most of them have hands-on learning experiences like internships, clinicals, and research. Just to give you a few examples, um, students in the aerospace engineering program utilize a wind tunnel during their senior design project. Students in the School of Business frequently take internship opportunities within St. Louis um, we do have nine Fortune 500 companies, and we are ranked as one of the best startup cities in the nation. And then students in our School of Nursing uh, spend over 300 hours in clinical starting their second semester sophomore year. Like many of my colleagues here, we are also a tier one research university. So you can start doing research as early as freshman year. Uh, in fact, we are one of nine Catholic universities to receive the Carnegie classification of higher or highest research activity. All that is to say is you can really explore your passions at SLU. We do have a lot of students that are interested in pre-health and we do have a brand new hospital on campus that opened this fall and all of our pre-medical students have the opportunity to shadow a position during their sophomore year. And I know that hands-on experiences have been more limited this year, but we have been able to provide an in-person experience for our students both semesters this year. When you are looking for ways to get involved, we have uh, 30 club sports, 50 intramural programs. We're also uh, division one, we're part of the Atlantic 10 conference. We have 18 D1 sports, basketball and soccer are the biggest ones on campus. Um, if athletics are not your thing, that's okay. We have about 150 student organizations. They range from culture, government, media, sports, uh, service, as I mentioned earlier, Greek life, and more. Um, if you're interested in Greek life, seven fraternities, seven sororities, and 10 multicultural fraternities. About 20% of our student population is Greek. 
Um, as I may have mentioned earlier, if I didn't, uh, surprise, we have a campus in Madrid, Spain. So we are a very study abroad friendly campus in general, but Madrid is our most popular option as it is St. Louis University in Madrid, Spain. But you can choose from 45 other study abroad locations around the world. And about half of our students will choose to study abroad. So how do you become a Billiken? Our application does open in, on August 1st for rising seniors. It is free to apply either on the common application or directly on our website. Outside of that, we do require your official high school transcript and there is an essay component to the application. We are in a, a three-year test optional pilot. So um, if you plan to apply in the next two years, then you do not need to submit test scores to be considered for admission or for scholarships. Um, what is great about SLU for our scholarships is we do automatically consider you for merit scholarships. And if you are attending a Catholic high school, you are also eligible for some additional scholarship dollars as well. While not required, we do recommend letters of recommendation, a resume, and an informal interview with your admission counselor. We are rolling admission, so we do get decisions back in about three to four weeks, but our priority deadline is December 1st. So I encourage you to apply by then, as that is also the deadline to apply for several of our competitive scholars programs. Thank you all so much for sticking around until the end, and I will put Stephanie's contact information in the chat and would be happy to answer any questions as well. Thank you very much. If you have questions, you can use the Q&A button, but I'm gonna ask our representatives to come back on screen and turn on their microphones, because we'll do a quick, in the last three and a half minutes we have here, a quick Q&A to get a little more uh, information from our reps, uh, in addition to the, what they've shared about their schools. And we'll have you answer in the same uh, order that you presented, and the question is simply, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process right now? We'll start with Creighton University. I think students need to really think about their high school experience because that's what they know. Um, think about what you've enjoyed in high school, what has challenged you, maybe what you haven't enjoyed. Um, I think taking advantage of um, resources you have, certainly your college counselor or school counselor, um, and also friends you know who have gone off to college to talk to them about experiences, what's been good, what hasn't been so good. And I think we're all going to tell you that, especially now that things are opening up a bit more and visits are a bit more available to students, that um, when you feel comfortable traveling, take it, taking advantage of getting out there and seeing as many schools as you can is super helpful. Bradley University. Uh, my advice is to ask for help and ask as many questions as you can. I always tell my students you should know everything about the university you're going to. So I know that sometimes you're hesitant to ask questions or you just don't know the next steps. Ask your admission counselor, ask your high school counselor, ask parents, uh, people that have gone to college. Um, just make sure that you know everything about the college that you're going to. And if you don't know, that's perfectly okay. We are here to serve you the best that we can. University of Missouri. For my juniors, remember that this spring semester, your GPA is critical because this is the last full semester grades that we're gonna see before you apply. So make sure that you're doing the absolute best that you can. And for my younger students, make sure you balance rigor with your GPA. Don't overload your um, transcript or don't overload classes with too many AP or honors so that you're not doing the best academically. You wanna have a good balance of rigor and great grades. Or at a Southern college. Uh, to echo a little bit of what a couple other people said, but you know, when safe to do so, visit. Um, you know, I think you can really get a good feel for a college campus. Um, and if you want it to be your home for the next four years, just kind of stepping uh, foot on it. Um, also, if you're, uh, the colleges you're interested in offer any kind of uh, resources to speak with current students, I think that's a really great opportunity because those are likely going to be your classmates. Uh, so it's really uh, good to see if you can connect with them um, and they best know what it's like to be a, a student at the school. Syracuse University. I'm going to go a little bit more nuts and bolts. Start an Excel file or a Google Sheets that you can share with the adults helping you with this process. 
list out the colleges you're interested in, the deadlines that you have coming up, um, maybe application dates, things like that. So you stay organized and people can help you be accountable for the deadlines that are coming up. And St. Louis University. Outside of what my colleagues have said, I would definitely recommend to do some uh, deep dives on university websites, especially this year, we've really ramped up what information is available to students. Um, now, of course, we are here as a resource and we'll happily answer any questions that you have, but you may find that we have so much more information than you could ever need on the website. So definitely do some searching as you start to explore the opportunities that different universities have. Well, thank you all for that great advice. I wanna also thank you all for presenting today. And I wanna thank our attendees for joining us for this session. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash friarblazers. Once again, thank you to all of our representatives for presenting today and have a great rest of your Friday and a wonderful weekend. Take care.